channel welcome to learning space where all the learning is happening my name is Tobega and I welcome you to the video um, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so on this video we'll be looking at grade 10 um, business studies a topic which is called social responsibility so let, let us get into the video First things first, what is social responsibility? Social responsibility means that businesses need to be careful with the decisions that they make and the actions that they take to protect the environment and to improve the quality of life. Um, so meaning that as a business, we're not just there to make a profit, but we have to check whether our business does not uh, or is not harmful to the community and to the environment as well. So the environment consists of air, the air that we breathe. So our business should not transmit um, gas that is harmful to people. Hence, there is a, a topic that we have on business, which is business location. So it's, sometimes it's important that a business is located far from where people are because we don't want to affect the community and then we find that the community now is having um, lung diseases because of the gas that is transmitted from our business. Secondly, water, river. So we must make sure that we do not pollute water. Water is an important resource. We cannot function without water. So if we as a, as a business, we pollute water, how will um, our customers support us? Because at the end of the day, we are harmful to them as well as vegetation, land. Some businesses where there was a business, we can no longer have um, garden, garden, we can no longer have housing because of the land was now damaged because of our, of our business. So we need to be careful of those things. And then we also have a community, which is our consumers. We must make sure that our business benefits them as well as our workers. Our workers should not be exploited in terms of you shouldn't pay them um, less than what they have to earn as well as we shouldn't expose them to harmful working conditions. A business and a society in which operates are mutually dependent on each other. That means that they need one another. They cannot function or survive exclusively of each other. So on the one hand, we have an entrepreneur who identifies an opportunity and sends this opportunity into a product or service to satisfy a need in the community. The entrepreneur influences the community to use its resources to produce goods and services. So you need the community because some of the resources you will need are in the community. The community therefore benefits from the goods produced. On the other hand, the community can influence the business. For example, if the business is unethical and discriminate against people based on their race or gender or it pollutes the environment, the community can react in a number of ways. So this means that the business should take care of the environment and take decisions that do not harm the community. And then now let's talk about corporate social responsibility, CSR. CSR is an example of self-regulation. So that means that a business monitors its own actions um, with line with the spirit of ethical and morality. So there might be a case whereby um, there is no formal law against what a business is doing, but because they step back, and they sit down, they reflect, and they see how their operations affect the community, and then they do the right thing to protect the environment and to also protect um, the people that are living there. And in doing so, they protect their reputation, their brand name, and their goodwill. So how can businesses act in a socially responsible way? First thing, they can take a community-based approach. That means that they can work closely with the community. 
um, looking at what the community needs. For example, they can invest in a skills development program. They can also take a monetary approach, that is to make monetary donations, probably to schools, to hospitals, to anything that is available in the community. And they can also take interest into CSR, that shows that a business can be successful, and as well as the social welfare of the community. Using my business studies um, focus, Lettuce Testbook Grade 10. This is found on page 1100, sorry. So, um, a business, the first thing that a business would do would have to identify um, where the areas of social or economic upliftment. That's the first thing that they would do. So, first things first, they could do e community upliftment. So that is to sponsor or join um, community programs. So they can join probably skills development. We know that unemployment rate is very high. So we can equip um, our communities with skills so that they can start their own businesses. Then we can also care for the environment. Um, pollution is one of the biggest problems that we have. So if we see that in the community we have a lot of pollution, we can um, sponsor up, clean up programs. And then we can, like the businesses can also sponsor special programs or sports. So they can provide the prize money after the sport event for the team that won. Or they can provide funding for the event. And then they can also have um, special education efforts such as adopting a school. So they adopt one of the local schools in the community. They provide them with uniform, um, uh, school shoes, stationery, and they can also provide them with specialized equipment such as computers. And then we also have um, smaller businesses that can also contribute towards um, the community. So, for example, a local bakery can provide refreshments for free um, at a school sports day. And then we can um, have a small business that is already undertaken by community-based organization. So we can also have some businesses, a small business that can um, contribute by providing feeding scheme. Um, CSR, the benefits of CSR to businesses. First things first is recruiting becomes easier because um, people want to work for companies that take CSR seriously. So the business is able to attract employees with the right skills, knowledge, and expertise. And then competition, number two, competition is eliminated because businesses are able to, sorry, customers support businesses that are involved in CSR. Remember that when a business comes to a community and they're socially responsible, they are involved in community programs. The community becomes aware of the business and they support the business. And then number three, it involves three triple bottom line approach, which is your people, your profit, your planet. So it's not just about making money, but then you will learn more about this in grade 11. And the fourth thing is that um, the more they do the CSR, they become public. So their good work is, is becomes public, which um, improves their reputation, their brand, and their image.
Okay, guys, now let us try and attempt to answer the case study. So let us go back. So the case study reads as follows. Sony South Africa's Corporate Social Investment Program has been named. The Sony CAP Community Upliftment Program through the main project of the CAP, Sony aims to uplift their chosen community in six key areas of involvement, which is arts and culture, health, science and technology, education, sports, environment. The CAP has a unique approach to CSR in that its main mission is to foster and develop a spirit, a spirit of community involvement in all Sony SA's employees and contractors. Company policy is that all Sony SA employees participate in at least two CSR projects per year. Sony SA's CAP will have a remarkable impact on the community be a model CSR program for others and contribute to making CSR involvement a culture in Sony SA. Sony SA's chosen community is two schools in Alexandra, Mfundiswini Primary School and Minerva High School. Alexandra was chosen because it is close to the Sony head office in Midrand, making it easier to communicate with and implement projects. So the first question is, which is Sony SA's um, chosen community and why? So the chosen community is Alexandra. And why was it chosen? It was chosen It was chosen because it was close to Sony SA head office, making it easier to communicate with and implement projects. Number two, what is Sony SA's minimum CSR requirement as a company policy? So the company policy So the company policy is that all Sony SA employees must participate participate in at least two CSR projects per year. And then let's look at number three. In which of the six areas of, of involvement will Sony SA be most involved in? It's education. Why do we say that? Because Sony SA has chosen two schools in uh, Fundi Swing Primary School and Minerva. High school. Okay, let us look at number four, the last question. 
So just one example of each community and monetary approaches that Sony could use in schools. So let's start with the community approach. So the community approach does not include any money. So what they can do is they can have a skills development program at the school so that um, members of the community are equipped with skills and they're able to establish their own businesses. The monetary approach would be to donate school uniforms sponsor a sporting event um maybe also donate specialized equipment such as computers so yeah guys we are done with the activity i hope it was helpful and you now understand better the concept of csr so let us um quickly recap on our whole lesson we learned about social responsibility that is the, it is the decisions and the actions that a business makes to make sure that they protect the environment as well as people. And then we also spoke about how um, we can protect the environment, the water, air that we breathe, and the land, and also how it affects our customers and our workers. And we also spoke about if um, businesses are not socially responsible, what the community would do. And then we also spoke about corporate social responsibility, that is a self-regulation. And then we also said that um, businesses can be involved in communities by uh, joining community-based programs or donations or giving prizes or funding or adopting a school and so forth. And then we also spoke about the benefits of CSR for businesses that I just spoke about now. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you learned something. Um, don't forget to go back to your textbook, read, uh, study hard, and you will get them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, please subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Tell me what you understood about this topic. Tell me what you're still struggling with so that we can help each other down on the comment section. Till we meet next time. Bye.